A big challenge facing people doing 360 photographs with different types of cameras is how do you take a photograph without yourself appearing in the photo? You don't want every photo to be a selfie. I know some people will hide behind a tree or different things like that. Well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to remove yourself from a 360 photo inside of Photoshop. Now, if you're not shooting 360s, this technique will also apply to removing people from any photograph. <laughs> Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to remove yourself from a 360 degree photo. Now I have two 360 cameras here. I have the Insta1 360 or the Insta360 One as it's called, which is a cool little camera. And then also the Ricoh Theta V. And so these are great cameras. They shoot 360 degrees. They've got lenses on both sides. You know, there's other ones, GoPro Fusion, and you can even do a mobile app that will enable you to do that. Okay, so here's the key. Instead of not appearing inside of the photograph, what you want to do is take two photographs that are identical and you just change position in each photo. So here's the first photograph that I took and you can see I'm standing over there on the right. Then I moved to the left and I took another photograph. Now I used the mobile app with my uh, 360 camera to take that photograph. So this is the key. So now that we've done that, we can easily remove ourselves from the photograph. So here we are inside of Photoshop. The first thing we want to do is we want to just turn this into a 360 photo. So what we're going to do is go up under the 3D menu. And then we go down to where it says spherical panorama. And then we're going to choose new panorama from selected layer. So we click here and I'm not going to change the workspace. It's fine. So what we've got now is we've got a 360 photo and we can actually pan around in that photo. There I am. And we can go around. This is the Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. All right. So what we want to do is get rid of me. So the way to do that is to actually open up this photo and we can find it under textures here in the layers panel where it says spherical map. Double click that. And what's going to happen is we're going to see our entire photo is now going to appear inside another PSB. We're going to go to the first photo where I am right here on the right side. And now I'm going to click and drag that into that PSB. Notice that that tab comes active. Move your mouse down. Don't release yet. Hold down the shift key. And now we release. And what we've done is we've dropped that photo in position. So notice if I hide this underneath, we've got a nice clean plate there. And then we go here, we can see the person's there, but on the left side, it's now covering me in the layer underneath. So all we have to do is create a layer mask. So I've selected that layer. I'm going to choose new layer mask. You'll see it there in white. And now all I need to do is just grab a black brush to so choose black. Grab your brush, make it a little bigger. I'm going to hit the right bracket key and then just paint myself out. Make sure we turn the opacity all the way up to 100. There we go. It's done. So now I'm going to save this Control S or Command S for save. Notice we're saving that. Close it out. And now we're going to go back to our 360 photo. And now if we pan around inside this 360, you'll notice I'm gone. And we can go all the way around. And there we go. Now you'll see that I do not exist in that photo anywhere. So not only can we remove someone inside that PSB, we could also add other layers and other objects such as animals and different things like that and have some fun with it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button into dust. And if you enjoy Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. Ring that little bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new tutorial. And by the way, I have a question for you. Have you ever used 360 cameras before? If you have, which is your favorite 360 camera? If you haven't, is it something that interests you? Or is it something you'd rather just kind of sit on the sidelines and watch other people do it? <laughs> I'd love to know. Add your comment underneath. So anyway, guys, until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. Mm -hmm.